Annette here from Ask Me Decor. How's everyone doing? Welcome back and thanks for coming. If you're new here, I'm glad that you joined us. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button. Thank you. So whenever you're decorating a room, one of the things you want to try to accomplish is balance. You want to create balance in your room. And even though the people you love, the people in your home, the people that come to visit are not going to say, oh, your room is very balanced. They're not going to do that. They're not going to notice consciously. Subconsciously, they're going to notice. So how do we achieve balance? I'm going to explain to you what decorators do to achieve balance when they decorate a room. It's very easy. There's three steps. Decorators achieve balance with three steps. First is furniture. So you can't put all your tall furniture to one side of the room or in one corner of the room. You need to take all your furniture and spread out the tall pieces evenly throughout the room and the short pieces evenly throughout the room. That's the first step. Second step is color. So suppose you have an accent color, suppose it's blue. You need blue throw pillows, you need blue throws, blue vases, whatever you have in that color, you spread it evenly throughout the room. The third way you achieve balance is with accessories. So you're not going to put accessories just on one cupboard or one shelf and like nowhere else in the room. You need to spread them out. So the third step is accessories. Three easy steps, furniture, color, accessories. So today we're going to use my living room as an example of how to achieve balance in a room. I'm going to show you what's not working for me in this room, how I'm going to change it, how it looks balanced, and then we're going to do a summer tour of the living room. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the one side of our living room. Now this living room is about 13 feet wide by 24 feet long, so it's long and narrow. Everything on this side is light colored. This cabinet is light. The little table here in between the two chairs is a light color. The fireplace is now light color. Everything is light. So you get the sense of where I'm going on this side of the living room. This is the other half of the living room I don't think you've seen yet. But let me show you where I'm going with my idea here. Um, sofa table is light. I painted that at some point a couple years ago. Then we get to the corner, dark. Then we get to this corner, dark. Then we get to the TV armor, dark. Then we get to this table, dark. And this side, everything is light in color. There's the table, there's the cabinet, there's the fireplace, all light in color. This side of the living room, to me, it feels like everything is dark in color. And that is what we're gonna work on today. So bear with me. I know this is a rough sketch of a scale, but you'll get the point. If you put all the heavy things on the right side of that scale and all the light things on the left side of our scale, it's gonna tip. And it, therefore, it's not balanced. So we're gonna fix our little scale by evenly dispersing all our heavy and light things. Therefore, we've achieved balance. Now, the way I achieve balance is by painting this piece of furniture. That way, the room will be evenly dispersed with light and dark furniture. We're also going to add grass cloth to the back uh, of it to give it a lighter background look. And there you have it. A light colored piece of furniture in the corner is making my room look balanced. We've got a light colored piece of furniture there, a light colored piece of furniture there, the fireplace, which is very light. And then we have a light colored piece of furniture there. So let me take you around and give you a tour of my summer balanced, beautiful living room. Oh, no.
feels a lot more comfortable. The light and dark furniture is evenly dispersed and I am loving it. So that's the end of this video. Now you know how to balance a room with furniture, color, and accessories. And there's only one thing left to say. If you have any questions, just ask me and I'll see you in the next video. No matter what I do, I'm coming home to you.